Mess around with the K2 Plus here. I have found out how to uh, turn the nozzle LEDs on and off. And uh, let me scroll down here. We'll turn off the main LED. Let's scroll back up here. So the LEDs are basically behind the nozzle, and we'll use that doing uh, using these macros here. Nozzle LED on. LED comes on. Nozzle LED off, and it's off. I'll show you on the printer. So obviously LED is off. Turn it on, and we'll turn it off. So I've got the uh, files on my GitHub, but I'll walk you through it real quick on how to add these macros. All right, so we're here on my GitHub page, and uh, these are the macros. I'll include the link in the description below. Uh, if you want to do all the additional settings I have, um, I'll provide that link too. But if you just want to do the LED macros, we'll go here. So um, in the GitHub here, you're going to highlight these G codes here. You're going to go copy. And you're going to go over to your, uh, your web interface for your printer. Mine is 192.168. Dot one dot one oh seven with port forty four oh eight. Um, that'll that'll show up on your main screen here. Uh, then you go down over here to your configuration. You'll go to printer.cfg, scroll all the way down to the bottom, then right here, right above your the save config, add a few lines of spacing in here. You want to make sure your your cursor is all the way over there to the left. Hit paste. Go up here and click uh, save and restart. And when you do that, since I already have mine in here, when you do that, the buttons will show up underneath. Well, uh, these uh, nozzle LED and nozzle LED on, they'll show up underneath your uncategorized. And if you want to change that, um, you'll go to the little settings tab here. Then you'll click add category. I just added macros. Then you'll go down here and say you find the one that you want. You'll click here. You'll change it to your macro uh, category. Click save. And that way you can uh, have all these. Your screen's not um, kind of cluttered with macro buttons. There you go. Uh, links it included in the descriptions. Um, if you got any questions, I do have the README files on there. Um, if you want to add more stuff to your printer, look into the additional settings uh, configuration file.